Yeah. All right, so first we're gonna go off spinal mobilization. This is one of my favorite spinal mobilization of people with sciatica. It's a great opener for the intervertebral foramen. So what I do with my patients is, if, uh, according to Mulligan, with doing any kind of medial pressure, you can identify which segments are causing pain due to any kind of joint dysfunction uh, they may have. So I'm gonna use my uh, superior hand for that, that medial traction, and I'm gonna use her leg to help move her up uh, to also um, assist as more of a long lever. I use my leg to kind of uh, hook her leg so I can move her into varying degrees of flexion. It's very comfortable for me and her. Uh, to make her feel nice and stable, and to relax because sometimes when you're moving people around they may try to um, uh, to brace a little bit because they don't want to fall off the table right here she has a good uh, good hold on me she's not going to uh, let go and then fall off the table i'm going to find that segment in this case with her it was right at l5 i'm going to provide just medial uh, pressure going down with my thumb when i do that i can actually rotate her spine against that so I can rotate her spine towards, and I can use my leg, and I can provide some gentle mobilization into rotation to help open up that intervertebral foramen and hopefully decrease symptoms associated with sciatica. Now, I like doing this. This is one of my favorite exercises, but what I find is when people have a lot of pain, just providing mobilization doesn't give quite the relief as contract or relax stretching. So what I can also do is have my hand right here across her hip, and I'm just gonna hold here. She's gonna take her PSI out and she's gonna push back towards the right now. She's pushing and you're gonna hold for seven seconds. And when she holds there, I'm still providing that medial pressure with my superior hand and then relax. Once she relaxes, I'm gonna hold for a second and then I'm gonna bring her more into hip flexion and I'm gonna roll her more into rotation. Then push again and she's gonna hold for about seven seconds and then relax. And once again, I can go further in hip flexion and rotation and I can mobilize the lumbar spine in that way. It's a great way to help reduce nerve symptoms along with uh, joint mobilization by opening up uh, that intervertebral foramen.